This video is for people who are trying to drive a display on a Mimic panel and don't have enough outputs to drive all of the different um, points. In this case, if we look at the crossover here, we've used a single button and three sets of LEDs to drive point motor one and two. Now if you have a multi-panel with 24 outputs or a mini panel with 12 and you need one more, instead of expanding the multi-panel or, or upgrading from a mini panel to a multi-panel, we can cheat the system a little bit to get this extra indication. So this video I'm going to show you how to do that using the multi-panel uh, Y-Lead expansion or extension cable kit. Here's a multi-panel and I've attached to it the regular push button. And if I connect an LED pair, and what I'm showing you is the same whether it's a multi-panel or a mini panel, press the button, you'll observe the lights changing. One way and then back the other way. Now, if we imagine that all of the other outputs are in use, in this scenario, I'm one light short. How do we make the system do what we want to do? So if you have the multi-panel Y-lead kit, what you can do is take the Y-lead cable and plug in one of the LED boards to the first female connector and the other one that's included into the second. So what we've now done is we have four LEDs connecting to a single socket. And if I plug this into the multi-panel or mini panel, I'm now driving both pairs. If I can untangle them, here we go. So when I press the button now, you'll see all four flash and then settle on the new area, the new layout. Now, if I take one of the extinguished LEDs and fold it back, you end up with three, just as you do on this crossover example here. So with a single button, I can have the two outside lights on to show that the road is set straight and when I press the button now, they'll flash and then the center will be left illuminated to show that the crossover is set. So this shows how you would configure your panel for three LEDs using only one output. Press it again and back. Now obviously at the other end on the motor controller board, whether it's servos or solenoids, you'll be using both of those from the same channel. So you'll have two motors connected to a single output. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.